A man in Groves is hoping to raise awareness about motorcycle safety. After his neighbor's son was killed in an accident in November in Jefferson County. 12 News reporter Kelsey Johnson joins us now to share why this cause is so important to him. Kelsey. Taylor Westfall started a GoFundMe page after Mario Kalunga was struck and killed by a drunk driver. He hopes the money raised will help Kalunga's parents as well as motorcycle groups. They're basically a second family to us. When Taylor Westfall and his wife heard the news their neighbor's son died, they were devastated. Miss Terry came over and she she talked to us and she told us what happened and you know we all we told her you know like always anything you need. We'll be there for you, so. The Texas Department of Public Safety said Kalunga and his girlfriend, Emily White, were riding his Harley Davidson on Twin City Highway near 7th Avenue on November 12th when a pickup truck struck them. Mario Kalunga died at the scene. Troopers say the driver, 46-year-old Richard Eric Bean, was intoxicated. White is still in the hospital. It's unacceptable for somebody to be driving drunk and hit someone and kill them and almost kill another person. Westfall hopes the money raised will not only raise awareness for motorcycle safety on the roadways, but will also go towards a memorial for his fellow rider. I think it's something that, that not only do Sam and Terry deserve, not only does this motorcycle club deserve, but Mario deserves it as well. With Christmas break right around the corner, Westfall wants drivers to be extra mindful of motorcycles on the busy roadways. And if you wish to donate, we will have a link to his GoFundMe page under this story on our website, 12newsnow.com. In studio, Kelsey Johnson, 12 News.